and welcome to How to Cook Great Food. With thousands of recipes and millions of views, why not subscribe to our channel and join the family? Welcome back once again to howtocookgreatfood.com. If you haven't already, please click that button and subscribe to our channel. On the menu today, we're going to be making this really simple zucchini, courgette or cusa stew. It's got a tomato base, chickpeas in there, celery, onions, some cumin seeds, a little bit of cinnamon stick in there. And as you can see, I've got these lovely chilies here, which I mean, they're not massively hot, but a lovely, lovely flavour. Really easy, healthy, vegan, vegetarian, tasty. Let's go and do it. Okay, let's get started on this one. So you've got a pan here or a pot with a lid you're going to need. I've got some olive oil in there, which I'm starting this off with. And I'm going to start off by dropping in a little bit of cinnamon. To that, I'm just going to add a few cumin seeds. Then we're going to go in with our onion. I'm using white onion, but you could be using a different colour onion if you wanted. And about the same amount of celery, which I really love in this. Any little kind of little bits of stringy stuff, try and get them out. Some salt. Some black pepper. Wonderful, really simple. Now what would, could really work nicely in this is things like thyme, a little bit of rosemary, some um, black lemon maybe, you've got some of that. But today I'm just going with cumin and just that little bit of cinnamon stick or cinnamon powder if you wanted but I just prefer the stick. Okay, so medium heat, we're just going to cook those just for a few minutes. Okay, that was that two or three minutes just to kind of get it together. I'm now going to add a little bit of chilli powder, optional, a cayenne or something like that if you want to. We're going to pop in our cooked chickpeas. These are from a tin. Now, like I always say, we're using them from a tin, no problem, but just make sure you give them a really nice wash in some nice cold water. If you didn't want to use Chili, maybe some smoked paprika would be nice. Or a bit of both, even that, that could work. Now, I've got these chilies. Big, fat boys. But they're not particularly spicy. You know, they're not crazy, crazy like the small kind of green ones that you may soon use a lot when I make curry. These are kind of fairly mild. Got a nice kind of, little bit of a kick to them, but you know, not crazy. Okay, same heat, about another three to four minutes, let's get that together. Now, I've got my zucchini, or courgettes, whatever you call them, or kusa. Now, these are, when you, these are quite a light green, you can get a very dark green. I think in Europe you'll get much kind of darker green than this as well. Now, I'm gonna cook them like this. These are kind of, they kind of, this is, that's pretty much whole, just kind of topped and toweled it. But these are all gonna go in, you know, kind of nice, big and chunky, as the kind of main feature. So, what we're gonna do now, like I say, another two or three minutes, giving this a stir every now and then, medium heat. This is going to be delicious. Okay, now this is coming along beautifully. The next step is we're going to add in one whole can of tomatoes, tinned canned plum tomatoes. And we're going to sort of break these down roughly into the mix. To that we're going to add some water. Now you may have noticed that I've not added any garlic um, just because I don't fancy doing it but would work wonderfully in this if you wanted. If you were going to add garlic you should have added it at the same time as the celery and the, uh, the onions. You can put a bit now in if you wanted. Yeah, no particular reason, just don't really fancy it today. Okay, lovely. What we're going to do now, turn the heat down, 
above a simmer. The lid's going to go on. We're going to let that go for about eight minutes. Let's jump inside and take a look now. And we'll let loads of that steam out for you. So that what that's done is that's going to just give us a bit of time to get those tin tomatoes together. Now, simply, our zucchini or our courgettes are going to go in. And like I say, I'm putting them in really big, chunky. I mean, these are pretty much whole, these ones. But you can cut them however you want it. You could, you know, put them into slices or rounds, up to you. We're just going to give them a little stir. Just going to add a little bit more water. Just a little touch. Or maybe a drop of white wine, maybe. Or red wine, if you fancied that. Okay, and then we're going to cook these again just above a simmer. I mean, because I've made these like this, they're not going to be that fast. So if you cut them in rounds or something, it's going to be like sort of, you know, just five minutes or so. These are going to take about eight to nine minutes, nice and slow, give it a stir every now and then. Okay, let's take a look now. I've just turned the heat off. that is looking great now these are sti still kind of fairly firm I mean they're soft but a little bit firm a bit of a crunch to them that's exactly how I like it what you need to do is check that for salt I'm going to finish this off now with some roughly chopped flat leaf parsley maybe a few sort of black olives in this might work if you fancy that just give that a little mix Check that for salt, you might want to add a bit more, it's all good for me. Hope you enjoy that. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel, and we'll see you soon. <coughs> Lots of love. With thousands of recipes and millions of views, why not subscribe to our channel and join the family?